Yes, FM Positive BT. I'm Zach. That was Prodigal by Peabot, and we got something really special for you. We have Halvey on the line. How you doing, man? What's up, man? Good, bro. Just is cooling. Sweet. Well, hey, I got to ask you this. I know we were talking a little bit off air about uh, quarantine, but how's quarantine with treating you? It treats everybody differently these days, so. Yeah, well, so like for me, man, quarantine's not too much of a word because I'm traveling so much, so. For me, it's actually been just a lot of travel. You know, <laughs> so, like the opposite, you know, the opposite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like more than I did before quarantine was even a thing. Oh so, wow! Yeah, that's it's crazy. Wild. How's that been affecting your process for making this album? Uh, yeah, it it definitely it made me have to approach creating music in a different way. But I think it made this album more intimate, and I experienced. Honestly, man, I experienced so much healing during that quarantine time mm. because God, it, it was a lot of one-on-one time with me and God and a lot of time with my mentors and just learning how to, uh, and just re- honestly realizing that I'm free, man. So it's actually a beautiful time and I think it inspired the music in a way that if it wouldn't have happened, like the music would have came out different too, so... Mm, that's awesome. Once again, we're talking with Halvey, uh, who's dropping his uh, amazing album, self-titled album called Christopher, this Friday. So for this album, you probably had like a lot of ideas, like as any musician, a lot of ideas musically. So how did this album stretch you in terms of like writing and choosing which songs to put on the album? Yeah, it, uh, it stretched me a lot because... Um I'm a guy that likes to play around with tons of different sounds and try new things musically. So this album, trying to figure out what fits, you know, trying to figure out how to <clears throat> meld so many different sounds in one was a little bit of a task. But I think we, the biggest thing for us was track listing. Uh, and once, I don't know, the, tr- the track list came out right to where we were able to make it feel like a journey. You know right. what I mean? Right. Well, I think that was the biggest thing because for me, I, I, I'm always going to continue to mix it up and just make what I like. So the biggest thing is, hey, how do you put that into a narrative form, into a story to make it feel like it belongs? And not to make it feel like, belo- like it belongs, but make it belong and make it uh, I mean, enjoyable, but also like deep experience for a listener. So that was kind of the wrestle was, hey, all these are going to be on this album. Is this too drastic or, you know, is this right? right? But, you know, we made it, bro, not we, but God, God made it happen, bro. <laughs> and uh, it's coming out, so. That's great to hear. So so tell us, like, why you titled the album, Christopher. It seems really personal. And um, going through your notes and everything, um, it does seem a little personal. So tell us how that came about. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, my first name is Christopher. Um, and... I think for me, it really was a, a spirit-led thing where we just realized that all of these songs were a snapshot of my life and my walk with God. And so it only made sense to get to the rawest form of, hey, my, mm-hmm. that's my name. Like, man, my, like this encapsulates a lot of who I am in Christ. Um, and so, yeah, man, that's kind of how we... Based, it was just like, man, it was a reflection of who I am. And my name means Christ bearer. That's what Christopher means. And I think this album encapsulates that, where you hear about and how I'm covered in his blood. You know what I mean? Right. How he healed me. And I think I just, I dive so deep into how he healed me that I think it was only fair to call it by my real name. You know? Yeah, I totally get that. It's like you made snapshots of your entire life. I love that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so talk about, um, I, I noticed a lot of songs on there. Talk about uh, one of the songs that really hit hit you home, like with Ninth Grade, that was a really hard hitter, uh, and a few others, uh, and a lot of them go pretty deep. Can you give us a little snapshot uh, before the release date this Friday, if you can? Uh, yes, uh, in, into, the al- into like the album as a whole? Uh, some of the songs, like Ninth Grade. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so... Yeah, ninth grade was, uh, it was like basically a walk and step into my journey when I was in high school, as well as just anybody's. And Mm. it was written from a perspective of like, man, everybody is really searching for the love that only God can give. 
Um, and in high school, you know, you go through that journey of trying to find who you are, find, trying to find if you fit in, you know, and right. you're like, and then what's hard is like, for me, I grew up in church and I did the right stuff. Yeah. I was judging my friends and they were doing a lot of different things that I wasn't doing. Mm. So, so like I wanted to fit in, but it just felt like, man, everybody's changing around me. You know, it just felt like everybody was morphing into a whole other person that, that, you know, that really went against what I kind of believed, right. you know? Right. And it, and it created this weird, I don't know, this weird battle of like, man, like it just feels like everybody around me is going downhill. And I don't know, but that's just a hard thing to, to see. You know what I mean? But at the same time, uh, praise God. Cause I think that's really the healing factor of all that is that we all just needed him. Like nobody was better than the other. Nobody did anything worse than the other. We all just needed him. And so yeah, that's kind of like a little snapshot into it. I feel like a lot of people relate to that on that level. Cause some p- people change all the time. People change. And sometimes you just really don't know that person at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once again, we're talking with Halvey, who's dropping his self-titled album, Chris, uh, this Friday, April 9th. Um, so uh, the entire album is just you, snapshots of your life, which is pretty personal. And speaking about being personal, dude, congrats on your engagement. Uh, I've seen it over Instagram. We've been following you, and we're so happy for you guys. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah. Um, boy, we're just both so excited. Such a new, new chapter, you know? Yeah, yeah. Everybody is so excited for you. Um, what we're wondering is, what people, what the people are run, wondering is, have you seen like your music style slash lyrics uh, change since being engaged, or do you think it'll change after you're married? What do you think it'll change, a shift a little bit? Yeah, um, I think that definitely. Like I have found myself. What's been cool is. My fiance likes like she likes a lot of like Justin Bieber type stuff, like pop right. stuff. <laughs> yeah, I found myself, you know, like making a lot of that stuff as I've uh, where I've gotten to know her, which is cool, man. Because I think it's just an expression of like, oh wow, like how she's influenced me, you know? Right, right, and that's, so that's really cool. Cool, actually. Um, just watching my sound even more for the time. Um, yeah, bro, it's, that's been really exciting. Uh, mm. And then too, like, man. When it comes to like, just like love songs and stuff, like with those, I want them to be right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when I make one, I want it to just be the, like that one, that that really beautiful, rich one. So I know I got to take my time with that and make it. I want to make something so so good. So um, yeah, man, it's just been beautiful. I, I think with more life experience too, the more I'll be able to write about. You know. Right. Yeah. And I totally agree with that. Like me being married and just marriage in general, like you just, the two become one flesh and like your likes will become her likes, her likes will become your likes. And it's something that's so beautiful, man. So, so beautiful. Oh, yeah, man. I bet. I'm excited to experience it. So I got to say this though. I saw We Against the World and dude, I loved it. I was phenomenal. Um, I, I got to say though, it reminded me of Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> have you seen Napoleon yeah. Dynamite? Yeah. Uh, yes, I have. And that was the goal. <laughs> that was the goal. <laughs> dude, I thought that was brilliant. Did you actually break dance? Uh, no, I didn't. We brought a guy from my church and he did it. Oh, okay, okay. But it was so cool. The, I love that. I love that scene. It was awesome. Andy Minio, dude. Oh, my gosh. That, that was hilarious. How did you guys keep a straight face? Dude, it was so hard, too. <laughs> I don't... Andy, Andy literally... Let me tell you this, man. Literally on set, he was acting like he was method acting. Really? Like, he came... Yes, bro. Like, there was a point where we were doing that a skit, and, like, I, like, try to talk to him, and he was still in character. It was so weird. <laughs> and, I like, I was literally laughing, like, the whole time when we were filming. Like, bro, I don't even know how I got to the place where I was try- able to keep a straight face. Oh my gosh, dude, that's no hilarious. Cause I saw, I saw like you released or one, one of you, one of you guys released, um, that little snippet, uh, of him bringing you outside, talking to you, doing those little dance moves, doing the worm. I was like, how is he, how is he keeping a straight face, man? <laughs> dude, that's, oh, bro, I don't know how I, 
Dog, I was dying laughing in a lot of those. I just had to find the best one. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Um, so, speaking of music videos, are there any other music videos, music uh, that we can expect from you in the future? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, man, the Lord's already been giving me a lot of vision for what's to come. I think right now I'm just trying to trying to do this season well mm-hmm. before I hop into that. But, yeah, most definitely uh, just taking my time and letting these things that he's putting in my heart kind of simmer as I'm figuring it out. But I definitely, I'm always trying to figure out what I want to do next. Cause I love, I just love making music. So I think it's something beautiful to make. So it's still giving some time. Cause I know I need to enjoy the present, you know? All right. Absolutely. So like after dropping this album, you're going to take a little breather and then get back to it. Exactly. So, so coming from you, when's the album dropping? Oh yes. April 9th. April 9th. And then here's the bigger question. Why should someone listen to it? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. I think you should listen to it because you'll walk out uh, wanting to experience the freedom that I'm talking about. You know? Mm-hmm. And so that's really why you should listen to it because I think it, it points to the one who sets us free. Mm, I love that. So talking about yourself, this is... So the entire album is talking about yourself and, you know, your younger self growing up. Uh, we see that throughout the entire album. Um, what's one thing you you would say to your past self? Yeah, I'd say, uh, man, actually believe the truth that you say you believe. Mm. That's how I tell myself, like, bro, I actually believe like that when God says you're free, you're free. I actually believe that peace is available. It's not this outside concept to say, man, he lives, God lives in you. And the moment you choose to realize that you're free, you are, and you get the opportunity to truly know God personally, like, you know, a friend. Mm. Yeah. So that's what I tell myself. That's awesome. So we got our, your song, we against the world, uh, lined up right now. Can you tell us a few things about that and what went down with that? Yeah, man. Um, so really, the song is the song of my brother, Andy Minio, and it's really about how uh, man, we can't do life on our own. Um, yeah, you can't do it on your own. You need God and you need people. And so it's, it's, and it's a fun one, you know, but at the end of the day, I just want you to be able to listen to it and realize that, man, I can't do this all by myself. I don't know what I thought I knew, you know, Mm. like I, it turns out I really, uh, turns out I really do need God and I really do need people. So yeah. Thanks so much, Halvey, for uh, talking with us today, spending the time to uh, go over your album. Uh, His album is dropping out April 9th, dropping on April 9th this week. Uh, Again, thanks so much, man. Stick on the line. And here's the song We Against the World by Halvey on Yes FM.